You ready, hot stuff? I am. I got my chai. You're not Bengali at all, you Ben Chot. It's called cha. Like, you're more in the Bengali world than I am. I am! Just... Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. See, see, that's what you get. I, uh, they yeah. put a curse on my, my mouth. On your mouth, that's it. It's not the only thing she put on. Anyways, today, uh, I was saying your mouth, not my mouth, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what your mom says about my mouth. Wait, what? <laughs> this is already off the rails. Anyways. It's already off the rails. Today, we got a, um, and once again, we hope to be in person very, very soon. Um, but uh, we are here. Until yeah, it's Stop. it's here's what's going on. You can test positive even yeah. when you're asymptomatic for weeks and months sometimes. Yeah, and I every day I'm testing, it's still coming back positive. And Johnny's negative, and just for abundance of caution, we're, we're not just, doing side by sides. We're just waiting till we're hoping like every single day that every day. Like, oh, yeah, hopefully today. Finally got the negative. Uh, I mean, I'm probably not contagious. That's according yeah. to the CDC guidelines and according to my good friend cindy who's a nurse but we're not taking chances with his family so yep uh today uh we got a pakistan street food versus indian street food this is wow. the best ever food review show though so white boy is, said pakistan pakistan <laughs> anybody want to go to pakistan anybody want to go to pakistan in india uh, but anyways, it's best ever food review show. So, you know, it's going to be a good quality and I love watching him. He loves food. I've been told this is not like a divisive video. Um, so, well, it sure has a, a title. Who does it better? <laughs> <laughs> anyways, He's throwing down the gauntlet. I just want to try all the food. I don't care where it's exactly. From. Exactly. Here we go. Three, two, one. That is the broth. I've got my bread. Let's get in there. Good morning from Pakistan. Right now I'm in the city of Islamabad. This morning I woke up at 5 a.m. for breakfast. But let me back up for a second and explain what we're doing in this video. India, Pakistan, two countries right next to each other. Actually, they used to be one country not that long ago. Now they're separated, divided, and sometimes there's a little contention between the two countries. <laughs> oh, sometimes. Today I'm gonna focus on the contention yes, around sometimes. a couple of food items. I'm gonna go to the capital in Pakistan sometimes and there's in a India, little tension. and I'm gonna compare two of the most popular dishes in each country, the Nihari and the Biryani. Oh. Let's see. Who does these dishes better? Both countries are gonna claim they made it first or they made it better, but I wanna see for myself. We're in Islamabad right now. We're heading to a restaurant that has the most insane hours I've ever seen. They open at 4.30 a.m. and they close at 9.30 a.m. By 9.30, <laughs> if you want breakfast, it's too late. So Nihar, Whoa. dude beef. People are waking up so early or maybe not going to sleep, but people love this dish. We're gonna go to the restaurant right now to see what it's all about. Let's go. By the way, this city's beautiful. This city is the urban version of Hunza. I mean, like, it's very peaceful. <laughs> we are deep in Islamabad right now. We've come to an alleyway where there's a lot of business and a lot of action. There's a ton of breakfast places. This is semolina pudding or halva. Over here, we've got some fried bread. And then there's a few different Nihari places. This is the original Nihari place on this street. But over time, this place adopted the same name this place adopted the same name. Oh, this place took the same name. And this place over here took the same name. All they changed was little words or a comma, but they're all imitating the original. The fact that all these people could sprout up around him, essentially copy his content and not face any consequences. I can't That's believe he has gone ballistic. Can you imagine wow. someone makes a best ever show review? food and then they make money i'd be pissed so this guy is the original and that's why we're going to him right now so he just pulled out oh, a wow. huge beefy looking piece of beef he drains out the broth looks and like he puts King it Kong's in a side testicle. bowl here he breaks off some of the meat i'm ordering triple meat because that meat looks delicious oh, he puts wow. in the broth and that broth is just like, almost like bone. an emulsion of fat it looks fantastic this is the ghee going in uh, on top and he hits it uh, with a little bit of ginger and uh, some chilies on top and that is ready to eat thank you very much shukriya this is shukriya. a heavy it's breakfast good. it's very interesting to come to different countries and see what they like to that eat early delicious. in the morning. Where I come from, it's usually eggs and toast man. or something on the sweet side. Take a look at this here. There's literally a That's pool 
vegetable on top of oil, breakfast. big beef chunks oh. inside, plus the broth underneath that. On this side, we have bread. Oh, wow. That's a little bit warm. I'm gonna break the bread and dip that in. This that is gonna give amazing. me my first insight into the Nihari. Oh, okay, there that it is. Looks it's amazing. covered in oil, super rich. Every drip is 10 calories. 10 calories, 20 <laughs> calories, 30 calories. Let's try this out. So rich, but so good. Beefy, spicy. It's killing the back of my throat. That's why I need some of this lassi. Balance. That broth, <laughs> it's like an emulsion of all these little bits that come off of the bones, the meat. It's created its own unique kind of thick, milky broth. From here, the meat. Ad, I love to have the beef because it just right breaks now. apart immediately like a Pakistani brisket. Mmm, it's so tender, so soft. Before it gets in your mouth, it breaks apart in your hands. All right, nobody would ever get a piece this big, but I must. Oh, to wow. me, this is the ideal bite wow. right here. A little bit of ginger, a little bit of chili. That meat looks Let's go amazing. For it. it does look amazing. I love it. It tastes like a beef roast or like beef that's been in the crock pot for a good 10 hours until it's become really nice and soft. Yeah. Some of the fats have leaked out, obviously, into the broth here. And so it creates this wonderful combination of meat surrounded by even more flavor. Love it. This is one hell of a breakfast. So that is That's Pakistani breakfast. Nihari. From here, I'm going to New Delhi in India to try their version and see how it stacks up. Welcome to India, welcome to Delhi. So we have had the Nihari in Islamabad, in Pakistan, and now it is time to have the Nihari here. I'm on a bicycle rickshaw, and we're headed to the best place in Delhi to get Nihari. Let's do this. Welcome to Delhi's most intense, noisy, stressful intersection. <laughs> Just down the street a little bit, we're gonna be trying the Indian version of Mihari. It is so loud, so noisy, so chaotic. I cannot wait to get out of here. Let's go this way. <laughs> the streets are all a mixture of cars, oh, rickshaws, hello. people. Hi. Hi, hello. You need to watch your back when you're here so you don't get run over, because it can happen, and I've seen it happen. Our first restaurant, Al Jawahar. And here, you can see, they have these big, beautiful pots, this mutton, and different types of Mihari that have been cooking for hours and hours. We're about to see them dish it up and try it out. If you're gonna get Nihari anywhere in this city, this is it right here. We have got the mutton going on here. I've asked for triple meat, just like uh. I did in Pakistan. He is smothering it with this gravy. That looks incredible. That's supposed to be the same dish? Here, the most obvious difference between the two dish, places is that this is mutton and right. I had beef in Pakistan. You're not gonna find beef here. If you have something that someone does call beef, it's probably buffalo. Otherwise, the only other difference I see is with the bread. This bread is gorgeous. Look how bubbly and soft it is. Let's walk through it. It is certainly not missing any type of fattiness. That is the broth, the gravy, but there is like an oil slick still on top. I'm gonna put a little bit of these sides on here. Hit it with a little bit of lime. Get a little bit of ginger and then a few of these chilies over here. I've got my bread. Let's get in there. Mm. That's amazing. Oh, it's so spicy, but I like it. I'm sweating, man. Last time I woke up at 5 a.m. in Pakistan to try this. Right now it's midday. So here, evidently, it's not just for breakfast. It is for all times of the day. It is extremely rich. It has a very like uh, curry-like flavor curry. with tons Look and tons of spices. Like, if you could take the energy in that street outside and put it into a bite and put it into your mouth, that is what just happened. I taste motorbikes honking, people pushing me out of the way, heat, sweat, colors, everything. So that is just a broth. But here, this is the meat. Big, beautiful chunks of mutton. I'm gonna grab it with the bread. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Breaks apart so easily. Wow. It has been cooked slow and low with love and spices. Oh. Tender and moist. The way they've cooked it, it's still pretty juicy and fatty inside, which is something I love to see. I cannot believe how spicy it is. <laughs> wow. You gotta cool it down with some onions. It's a tough competition, but I gotta say, between Pakistan and India, I like this Nihari more. Oh. Mm. Sorry guys, I mean, or you're welcome. I don't know who's watching. Anyways, I'm gonna go back to Islamabad and I'm gonna try one more classic, biryani. We're gonna see who makes a better biryani oh, between Islamabad and Delhi. Like Let's go back. The rolls. Oh. We're back from India and back in Pakistan in Islamabad, where we're gonna go to this restaurant. This place is called no. Tandoori Junction, <laughs> and they have some he, epic he biryani. Now, is this the best biryani first. in all of Pakistan? Probably not. Ooh. But it's a good place in the capital. Here they have multiple selections. They've got beef, they've got prawns, they've got chicken. All of it in a nice clay pot full of just oof. Uh, what do you say? Flavorful, sparkling, rainbow filled biryani. It's gonna be ridiculous. Let's go. 
I want some biryani. So we're getting two different kinds of biryani today. This is with the seat kebab going inside oh. right now. They've just heated it up. From here, they're gonna heat it another five minutes. When it's ready to go, they're gonna bring it to the table. Oh, hell yeah. Guys, it's biryani time. Right here, we have two oh, different hell, types. So we have good. chicken, kind of a classic that you're gonna find in many different lunch. countries because everybody eats chicken. People have different rules about beef and pork, but we can all agree that chicken should die. <laughs> Over here, the seat kebab. I'm gonna break off some of this meat. First bite of biryani in Pakistan. Let's go for it. Oh, that looks amazing. That's really good. The kebab, awesome. Spicy, juicy. Look, there's a cat. See what the cat thinks? Oh, the cat just wants affection. Oh, there we go. Can I be honest with you? No less than 10 minutes ago, that cat walked Keep by with coloring. a mouse in its mouth. But it turns out it also likes a, a little bit of seat kebab. This is what matters right here, the rice. How does this rice taste? Mm -hmm. Gently spiced, not like a crazy amount of flavor. Warm and steamy. When you mix it with the meat, even better. Very nice. Here, this is the chicken. Same rice, but this chicken has been actually cooked inside the biryani mm -hmm. and it's absorbed all the same flavors. Oh my God, you're back. This cat loves Pakistani food. It's right. <laughs> it's meowing for more food. All right, I'll give you this bone in a second. So right here, a moment of truth. The chicken from the chicken biryani. Uh, Let's go for bone. it. Mmm, super soft, tender, fall off wow, the bone, that looks juicy. Super moist. Dare I say succulent. It's absorbed all the seasonings that are in that rice, it's and so it's projected succulent. some of its own flavor onto the rice as well. That's very nice. Hey, cat. Oh, it, it, it likes it. So that is two different biryani, same rice base, I believe, all made in a clay pot. Now, is all biryani in Pakistan like this? No. I just went to one place that happens to be in the capital, Islamabad. But this is going to be our representation for Pakistan in a moment. I'm going to go to India and see how they do. <laughs> And we are back from Pakistan. Once again, deep in the alleyways of Old Delhi. Yeah. Here, this See if restaurant they know how to make biryani. Me, serving two types of biryani. <laughs> and something I wasn't expecting. They have the chicken, oh, but they God, also have amazing. buffalo. So they call it beef, but it's buffalo beef and not a you know cow or ox beef. This isn't something you would regularly see in, in most parts of India, especially among the Hindu community. But because this is a, more the predominantly Muslim community by the mosque or in this whole area, it's good to go. a beautiful creation. I see oil on the bottom. I see this oh, long wow. basmati rice and then just big old chunks of buffalo strewn about inside. Could I please get one plate? We've got the plate here. He tosses on yeah. just a gigantic portion. Okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> Thank you very much. This portion alone wow. is ridiculous. It's enough to feed it's a, a whole family. Portion. Look how much meat is on here. And then you can see the different colors of the basmati rice. There's white and orange and everything in between. It's incredible. greasy, heavy, and delicious looking. I'm gonna try out just the rice. Here we go. Beautifully spiced. It's a little bit spicy. I can taste it up through my nose. It's soft, but it's not mushy. It's steamed perfectly and oily at the same time. Let's dig into this meat right here. We have all these big chunks of buffalo meat. Oh my God, it's like kissing your first love or your high school crush. The meat there is no joke, almost like caked with seasoning, but then so soft and tender when you chew on it. The part that makes me sad is every time I want to come back here to get this, I need to come all the way here, get a bicycle rickshaw, and then a hike about half a mile. The best part beyond the flavor is the price. This is about a pound of rice and meat. It's about two bucks. That is a huge win. But there's still one more to try. I'm gonna try out that chicken and then make my final verdict. Putting on the rice, the chicken. If you look deep inside, you can see all of these beautiful oils just soaking up the rice, keeping it hydrated. There's bones, super soft meat, rice, and plenty of sauce on there. Oh. Mm. Greasy, oily, giant, uh, long strands of rice. So this is all chicken meat uh, right amazing. here. Chicken is tender, it's well seasoned, a little bit less spicy, and just quite delicious. After having this in Old Delhi, I believe this is better than the version that I did have in Pakistan. To be fair, the folks in Pakistan, I know that is not the proper representation for biryani in Pakistan. So in the future, I'm gonna have to go back there. I'm gonna go to Karachi and I'm gonna try biryani there the way it's meant to be had. But considering we went to two cities, two capitals, and two countries, this is tough to be. Really super delicious. Guys, that is the video. A little uh, experimental. I wanted to try something new. I was just in Pakistan. I came here to India and I wanted to do some comparisons. It's for fun. Don't take it too seriously. Regardless, I love the food in both places. Very delicious and very actually different from each other. More different than you might imagine. Guys, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Oh, peace. They're going to kill me for this one. Oh, it's a oh, it's a I can't compare these two countries. I'm dead. They I'm might. a dead man. Yeah, did, you, did you hear him at the end? He said, I can't yeah. compare these two countries. I'm a dead man. <laughs>
was very brave of him. To... <laughs> very brave. I guarantee he got a lot of trolls. Uh, but I, I'll tell you what, I would eat any dish that he that he had in this, oh, whether it was from India or Pakistan. They both look absolutely incredible. Incredible. Uh, and the fact that that first one was breakfast, I know. it looked like a stew. It looked like a, a delicious, like roast beef stew. Or oh or, man, or, oh, it looked incredible. I am a oh. big fan of like dinner for breakfast. I love savory, rich, tasty things if, for a, for a breakfast meal. It's why one of my favorite things to eat is like just to have some some eggs and toast because eggs eggs are like you just add the salt and the pepper and they're very rich tasting. Yeah, I'm not not a fan of sweet in the morning in any way. Yeah. Except for Andrani, right? Yeah, that right. <laughs> a little Bengali in the morning. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's favorite breakfast. That's right. That's absolutely right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, I, I would eat every single one of those. The the oh man, I'm so hungry right now. I, I should have. This is like the first video of the day that we're starting. We usually we should film quite a few videos in a setting. I, I usually try to save the food ones for last because I get last. Yeah, I get so hungry. And maybe it was a mistake, but, uh, and this was actually a recent one. He just posted this, uh, let's see, May 7th, it looks like. Cool. And so it's a, it's a very recent, it looks like all the comments are actually like a bunch of people from India. Like, oh, I love Pakistani food, a bunch of people from Pakistan. All oh, the, the India biryani was making my mouth water. So it's very hospitable in the comments. I love that. Good. I love seeing that. We'll Good. see if it's the same in our comment section. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it it depends on the day um but that was wonderful i love his videos i think his videos are so awesome too. obviously obviously if you haven't already he doesn't have a million subscribers yet that's insane uh really? yeah he only has nine hundred thirty-two thousand. all go right subscribe yeah. well, go go haven't. subscribe his channel push him to a million he deserves yeah, it that, that he deserves i thought he absolutely. should be at like five million i, I thought like he was going to be like two or three million yeah he, he yeah. deserves it absolutely he's he's a great food vlogger and he's very funny, very Great personable. Great food blogger. Um, so, yeah, obviously, please go subscribe to him and let us know other food videos uh, from uh, anywhere. I... Bless you, Andrani. Was that Andrani? She... That was her. That was a cough. Oh, he okay. said, bless you, thinking you were sneezing. <laughs> Anyways, let us know what other videos we can react to down below. Just